Let me get you straight to the weather headlines. Let's break this thing down for you. We have some showers expected today, not related to the tropical system at all. It's related to a cold front coming through. May find a rumble of thunder in southern Vermont, but that's just about it. We have Elsa enhanced rainfall tomorrow, and I worded it that way because a system totally unrelated to Elsa is passing by, but the storm will kind of give it a charge and uh, allow it to produce more rain than it normally would, which is why we're expecting several inches of rain as we go into Friday. We'll get you that forecast in just a second. First, let me bring you out to the temperatures. Obviously cooler than yesterday to the north. 65 in Burlington, 64 in Plattsburgh. How about 59 in Saranac Lake, but not the case as we look to the south. Some 80s popping up in southern Vermont and New Hampshire. And this is because we have a cold front that is in the process of crossing the region. When you look at the dew point map, very easy to see where it is right now. Just coming through central Vermont, dew points still very soupy down there, but to the north, much more tolerable at this hour when you compare it to yesterday. This is Storm Tracker, not too busy, but we do have some showers, mainly in northern New York, Essex County, especially from E-Town down the north way to Scroon, likely seeing some rain right now. And this little batch of showers is moving east about 45, 50 miles per hour. So putting a track on this basically puts it in Middlebury within the next five or 10 minutes, maybe sooner than that. Pittsford, 14 minutes, 17 minutes, West Rutland, Rutland itself, 21 minutes from now, likely some raindrops coming down. This is the frontal system. You can see it stretches all the way into the Great Lakes and there'll be an area of low pressure that forms right about here. That's the weather system that comes in tomorrow. And and here is Tropical Storm Elsa made landfall along the northern Florida coast earlier today. Currently a moderate to strong tropical storm of winds about 65 miles per hour. But wind will not be the issue with this storm. Check out Elsa near the bottom of your screen. Let's time this thing out for you. You can see as we get you into Thursday, that first system starting to come in. This is early Thursday afternoon. Center of Elsa still down in the Carolinas. But as the storm gets closer, you see how the radar or the future radar just kind of fills in. That's Elsa kind of charging things up. And this is 730 in the morning Friday. Center of the storm passing by New York. And then throughout the day on Friday, as it lifts to the north, I expect most of the rain to shut off, but by then damage is kind of already done. Look at this. We're thinking rainfall amounts about one to three inches region wide. Great news for the drought, but I do think we'll find some small area rivers and streams coming up maybe to minor flood stage, so we'll need to keep an eye on that. Rest of today, no problems. Lots of clouds, maybe the odd shower or two, but that'll just about do it. Temperatures in the 50s tonight with showers arriving. We'll time all this out for you with a closer look on Futurecast starting you off tonight. Obviously not much happening, but as we go into first thing tomorrow, yeah, some showers already starting in the northern half of our region, but the most action definitely by the afternoon. Moderate to heavy rain likely across the entire region as we go into Friday morning. Then the storm, of course, passes off to the east. So I think as we go into the afternoon Friday, things looking much better. So it's impact weather tomorrow and then showers leaving as we go into Friday afternoon. Much drier and brighter for the upcoming weekend, but unsettled as we look towards next week. Sarah Beth.